going on guys? Another video here. Uh, Max from the Melon Heads. Just wanted to give you a, a recap. It's a little bit of a long one this time because we had two games this week. One on Sunday and one on Wednesday. Game two, we played the home team Motor City Zombies who we should have beaten uh, a lot better pace compared to our first game that we talked about with the Wolfpack where we lost 2-7. Shout out to Dylan with our two goals. Kind of a unique start. Ended up being that uh, the game before us here, we were supposed to play at 11.15 p.m. Game before us, I ended up coming out into a fight in the second period. Long story short, one of the guys actually broke his leg during the start of the fight. Not the two Whoa. people fighting, but the people, two people on the outside trying to help um, instigate, I guess. Uh, ended up falling and breaking his leg, so we had to wait about 40 minutes for the ambulance to come out and for them to take him off on the stretcher. That being said, we didn't end up actually starting to play until after midnight, as you can understand. After you've already gotten prepared mentally before 11 o'clock, and now you have to wait until after midnight to start playing. We were kind of tired and uh, a lot of booze was flowing. So, still ended up playing actually a lot stronger than what we did in game one. A lot better pace, our passing was a little bit better, we were more aggressive, we are starting to get in a little bit of a rhythm. We actually were up, we scored in the first five minutes of the first period there, so shout out to Jake for our first goal. Your first goal here of the season, as well as our third goal as a team. Um, we were up 1-0 after the end of the first, and then ended up kind of just losing. In it. We ended up losing one to eight in that game. Although we played a lot better, still not happy with the loss. I think we could have kept that a lot closer. They just had one guy who was dangling the heck out of us. Just scored the first two goals for them, putting them up, and then he would just take it all the way down, dump it in front of the, the net, and hope that one of his teammates knocks it in. Um, so just you know, bad positioning on our end for our, as a whole team. Couldn't get it out. Ended up losing one. Eight. Uh, one to eight. That's pretty much all I really want to say about that game. We kind of moved past that. We played really well, so I Whoa. can't really say, you know, things that we need to improve. I think we understood kind of where we were at. We should should have been able to beat them or at least keep it close. Like I said, we were up 1-0. Just some, some free goals where we couldn't couldn't stop the rebounds. Moving forward, though, one of our more exciting games that I'm really, really pleased with was on Wednesday. Um, that was us as the home team, so our home ice. We ended up playing the visiting team Detroit Coho Lips. I'll let you know the score here. Ended up losing that game 1-3 to three boys, so we are 0-3 on the season right now with 4 goals for total and we had goals against us a total of 18. But as you can imagine, we were 2 divisions higher than where we should have been as a new team. I don't know why they put us so high up. Um, the team that we played on Wednesday was more of our skill level and style. We should have beaten them. They had two free goals that went in that, that just shouldn't have gone in. The, their team had terrible positioning. They were hacks out there. Uh, and uh, not really one to, to hate or bash on a team, but it was just uh, just frustrating. You know, there's plays where when you, as a hockey player, you, you all understand that people are hustling on the ice. I mean, that whole opposite team is not, and it's just the freak rebound, it's just wide open. You, you shouldn't expect they have to stay that far back to cover them. I think you'll understand kind of where I'm getting at on that position. Yeah. But, um, basically, long story short, ended up losing 1-3. to three. The game should have gone 1-1, one, one, and then it would have just been a, a more aggressive play in the third period to, to get that win or, or go into an overtime shoot. Out. Not blaming anybody on that, uh, not blaming our hustle out there, it was just freak rebounds that just somehow went in when it shouldn't have. That's just beer league hockey for you. On the Coho Lips with Melonheads, Dylan Thrift, shout out to you for another goal here. You are leading the team with three. I think you, at Whoa. this point, based on just kind of our play and who we play, I think you are the top goal scorer for sure. You have three of the four goals, and then you are also our top plus minus player as well. So big shout out to you, thanks for coming in. Um, obviously, I think from one of the roster changes that we're doing, I think we're also moving you up to the forward so that you can you know, knock in your two goals and then come back on B. But uh, more on that to talk with on the captain, which is not me. So uh, I think that's a big yeah. decision still can be made. We had a great time on that game. I am really, really pleased with our, with our game three. Uh, a lot of fun that time. It wasn't as frustrating. It was actually a lot of fun. And we had three lines this time. So I think one of our problems that we had in the past two games is we just didn't have enough guys on the ice. Now that we've got more guys on the ice, uh, I brought in three subs. So shout out to you guys. You know who yeah. you are. 9, 39, and 52. Naven, Chad, and Kurt. Really uh, appreciate you guys coming out to play. Everybody hauls without heart. I think what we also did, not just bringing in more bodies to help fill our lines and give us some more rest, we also did shorter shifts. 
which uh, helped save some of the juice for what we needed in the second and third period where I think we were getting gassed too early and also setting up the play. So I think we're getting a better understanding of our style of play and where our positioning is. I think now that we're understanding we need to take those shorter shifts, you know, 45 seconds, a minute, minute and a half shifts versus our two minutes, two minutes and 30 seconds that we were doing before is I think helping us a lot more. It's, I think at the beginning we were just wanting to make sure everybody had enough playing time and now it's, you can still have the same amount of playing time, you're just switching a lot faster. Uh, and then now you have more energy long term. So that's something that we're working on. I think we did really well in the last game. Um, so, you know, now we're crashing the net. We're, we're standing in front of the goalie to screen. We're dumping the puck back in, on the four check to hit to the defense for slaps. Uh, I just, I think we're getting a more team chemistry and we're understanding and getting more awareness. Another thing that I had talked about with the team, and I know this video is getting a little long, so I'll try and cut it short here, but another thing we found is just when you get on the ice, you get frazzle brain, right? You get too into it, and so you, you just think instantly you got to pass or, or move the puck. Um, so what we're also doing as a team is starting to slow it down a little bit, not just as far as pushing the puck forward, it's more of taking a, a one to two second pause to really look around, scan the ice, see who, where the open man is, move up when needed, and, and get that get that better. So more, I guess you could call hockey IQ and awareness. I think that's what we're, we're seeing, that you have more time in B League as opposed to our first game when we were playing that B League team. So I did lose one to three. We are now in the correct division here, D4. We are trying to hit out today, get some practice. What you'll also see is that our next game is going to be Wednesday. And the team that we're playing, I pulled this up, so let me go ahead and grab that. Wednesday, we are playing Men With Wood. Yes, that's a real team name. We are playing them at 9.30 on rink one. They are the fourth place team in our division here. Um, they are one and one. This will be interesting. So their first game, they lost one to seven in the B League, and then the last game they played, they won seven to three against Reasonable Doubt, which is the last play, second to last place team in our division. Since now we're the last place team, just because we have more goals against. Cool. So it should be a great game. I think we should be able to win that. We have a double head. Uh, Men with Wood have a double header, and where the second game gives us a little bit of an advantage. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, last thing, just want to note, not really that important. Um, it got really chippy in our game on Wednesday, which was fine until it got too serious. So, um, you know, one of these big, big dudes just came in and, and hardcore cross checked the back of, of our defenseman Mike. Smart move by Mike to just skate away, wait for the call. Uh, I was not going to let that happen, so I kind of just grabbed him, uh, you know, grabbed the guy and, and just told him that's not going to fly. For some reason, that's considered instigating, so I got ejected from the last two minutes of the game. And yeah, I, I think uh, really only feedback we have is, you know, stepping up to the team. Make sure you're stepping up your teammates. Do you think that that was the right call to eject me for, for saying, bro, it's not worth it to the, to the opposing team member who cross-checked our guy? Do you consider that instigating? Would love to hear that in the comments below. I don't think it was, but I think what happened was the the uh, ref was trying to regain control of the game, and I was the example, unfortunately. So let me know what you think. Uh, we're about to go play some some roller here, practice some slappies, and uh, and get the ball rolling here. So. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment below, and if you think that that should have been an ejection or not, we'll see you on the next game. Uh, my goal is to try and bring the GoPro out for that one. So we'll talk to you soon. See ya.